When we calculate a toolpath with an Autodesk Power Mill, we always aim to produce a high quality result from the onset, minimizing the need for any modifications afterwards and alleviating any issues that could arise during manufacturing. In a continued effort to improve this, Power Mill has received an enhancement to ordering in some of the toolpath strategies, which aids users in machining high quality parts safely without the need to modify them after calculation. In this example, we're going to look at how this enhancement has improved top first ordering to toolpath segments. Previously, in certain situations, a toolpath calculation might have resulted in undesired ordering. If we activate this first toolpath, open the reorder form, and then select some of the segments on this vertical area, you will see that the toolpath segments are in the 500s. If I then select some of the segments next to this vertical wall, notice that they are in the 200s, meaning that the floor is being finished before the vertical area. If we simulate the toolpath, we will see that the ordering is not desirable. Depending on how much stock is left on this wall for finishing, we could potentially rub the tool shank or worse break the tool. While we could manually reorder these segments to resolve this, top first ordering enhancement means that in these situations a better result is now calculated. If I activate the 2021.1 toolpath and again select segments on the vertical, you will see that they are now in the 200s. I then can select the segments in the shallow region and they are in the 300s, meaning that the verticals are being machined first in a more desirable safe process. We can simulate the toolpath as well and see that we have a much better result in the order. These enhancements to top first ordering in Autodesk Power Mill will increase your ability to safely manufacture quality parts, reducing the need to manually edit your toolpaths and ultimately lead to shorter cycle times.